Today we're talking about another observation tool and that tool is called the frequency count. The frequency count is to be able to count how frequently something is happening. So in order to understand why we do observation, we have to understand how we can observe different types of scenarios. In this particular case, today for this activity we're going to be looking at how to monitor pro-social and anti-social behavior. Now this can be used for lots of different things because we're just looking at counting how often something happens. It can be used for a single child, it can be used for a group of children, or it can be used for a whole classroom. And so for the example today we're looking at looking at pro-social and anti-social behavior. Let's say you have a group of children that like to play together. Let's say there's four children. And so you take this frequency count form and you put their four names down and then you go observe them. Let's say they're a group of children that like to argue and bicker a lot. So you're going to start looking at um, who is making pro-social comments, who is making anti-social comments. A pro-social comment or an action might be helping sharing, hugging, calling another child's name by a kind name, uh, being cooperative, and then an antisocial um, activity or comment might be hurting in some way, hoarding, keeping things to themselves and not sharing, um, bad name calling, rejecting another child, you can't be my friend, um, you can't play with us, that sort of thing. So we'll list the children's names down at the side and as with any observation that you do, please record the date and your initials so that we know that, that you're the person that recorded this information and when you recorded it. And just watch the children. Put down the time that you're watching, what time of day it is, where you're watching them. So from the block center and you're watching them at 10 o'clock in the morning and you're watching them for 15 minutes, document that because it's important to look at how often the behavior is happening within the period of time. It might be unusual for a child to have um, antisocial behavior five times within 15 minutes, but it may not be unusual for the child to have antisocial behavior five times within three hours. So um, you, you need to make sure that all of that information is present so that when you do these frequency counts and do them over a period of time, you can compare apples to apples instead of apples to oranges. So list the children's name, observe them for the period of time that you have chosen, observe them in the place that you have chosen, and begin to make a check mark for each antisocial behavior you see in the antisocial column and each pro-social behavior you see. These are the kinds of things that you can look back and say, you know, look, it looks like Johnny is really uh, in a bad mood today. He's had six antisocial comments within 15 minutes. I need to talk to him. Um, but if that's something you see that Johnny does on a regular basis, then maybe it needs to have some intervention. Johnny maybe needs to play in a different area apart from that group. We need to introduce him to some new friends because maybe they're just tired of each other and not getting along. So it doesn't give us all the answers, but it begins to show us where the problems might lie. And it's a good place to start when you're doing an observation and you're seeing a problem and you want to know how to correct it.